I'm Paul Varley from Scribe Software. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Platform API Connector to save versions of your maps in a database so you can access them later. I've logged into my Scribe Online organization and I have a solution here called Platform Connector Use Cases and within that solution I have a map called Keep Map Versions. So let's take a look at this map and see how it works. I have two connections one to the Platform API connector um, and another that's connected to a SQL Server database where I'm going to store my maps. Now, if we look in the center, you see that the first thing I'm going to do is a query on the Platform API connection that's going to come back with all of the organizations that I belong to. And in this case, I'm only interested in a particular organization, so I have an if block that has a condition that looks for a certain org number and makes a decision whether uh, or not to go forward and save the maps. So if it is the right organization, it's going to go through this set of blocks here, and if it's not for all or other orgs, it's going to do nothing. Now within the first part of the if clause here, the first thing I do is fetch all the solutions in that organization. And then there's a test to see whether it's a replication solution. If it is, I'm going to do nothing because you can't get back replication solution maps. However, if it's not a replication solution, I am able to access the maps. So I've got a fetch block here that's going to go and get all of the maps in that solution. And then I'm going to do a lookup for each map that I get back. I'll look it up in the database to see whether I already have a copy of this version of the map. Let's take a look at the lookup criteria I'm using to do that. I'm going to compare the map name and the version timestamp that I'm getting back from that fetch operation to uh, all of the entries in the database to see whether there's a match on the name, the map name, and the last modification date, which is the version timestamp that I'm using. If there is a match, I don't want to do anything because we already have that map version in place. But if we don't have the version, that's why I'm going to go ahead and create a new version of the map in the database. I'll show you the condition that I have in this if clause. So if, if the number of records matched on the previous step is zero, then I know I don't have a copy of that map already, of that version of the map already. And I'm going to go ahead and create that map version in my database. So I'll open this create block and show you how I'm doing that. On the left I have all the fields that come back from the platform API call, all the information that I have about the map and the organization and the solution that it belongs to. Over here on the right you can see the information that I'm storing in my database and that includes things like the name and ID of the organization, the name of the map, the map version timestamp, the name of the solution, and most importantly, the JSON text version of the map, which is what I'll need if I ever want to re-import that map into Scribe Online. That includes all of the information about the map that we need to do an import. All right, so that's the map that I have that saves all these things in the, in the SQL database. And so now let's go and take a look and see what that looks like from the database side. I've already run this prior to um, to the to making the video so the information is already there All right now if I do a query on my database and find everything that's in there in this table that I have you'll notice that I've got about 18 different maps and versions in here and you'll see that there's a column called map data that's the column that I'm going to need if I want to re-import the map back into scribe online so if I choose one of these and I select copy from the right click menu that's going to allow me to paste the map information into a text file that I can then load or import back into Scribe Online. You'll notice that I've started my text file with square brackets that's because Scribe Online is able to import an array of maps all at once so we have to put square brackets around it so that the import function will work. But beyond that, I just have to say paste. 
that'll put the text, the JSON text for the map into my text file. Now if I save it and go back to my Scribe Online window, I can go to the hamburger menu, say import maps, choose that file from my local file system, and it went ahead and imported the map. Now I've got that older version of the map available in Scribe Online. Thanks for watching.